Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas and the Black Messiah tells a story of Fred Hampton, a real guy. He started the Black Panther movement in Illinois. He was seen as a man of the people, really. He connected white and black and every color in between. He understood that pretty much everyone was in a plight of their own. He understood that racism wasn't something that you're born with. You learn it, you're taught racism. People before you say off comments, things that you shouldn't say. And maybe you're too young to actually recognize that. And you know, if you hear it enough, it becomes the norm. And he recognized that. And the FBI led by J. Edgar Hoover sees Fred Hampton as a threat and nothing but a threat, which is alarming to say the least that the leader of the FBI is concerned by a 19-year-old black man who is looking to restore peace. He's a threat, apparently. How the world works, hey? So J. Edgar Hoover and his Hoover boys, they install sleeper agents, essentially, into the Panthers. They hold crimes over people's heads and they say, listen, you tell us everything you know or this small problem becomes a very big problem for you. You can't really blame people for turning coat on each other and flip-flopping so much. There was so much at stake for these people, not just their lives, but the people around them as well that could seriously get hurt. And one of those sleeper agents, if you will, spy rats, is played by Lakeith Stanfield, who is a little bit of a lost soul. He doesn't really know where he's going in life. He's just sort of bumbling his way through, pulling scams here and there to just buy some dinner and get to the next day. So this actually kind of works for him. He's getting paid very nicely. He's being recognised. He's making friends. His whole life turns upside down because of Fred Hampton and because of the Hoover boys, because of the FBI chasing him down. I really don't want to go into spoilers for anybody who doesn't know anything about Fred Hampton or the Illinois movement or anything like that. I really think that you should just go into this and experience it for yourself. I think that's the best way to do it. It's beautifully shot. The opening scene is a beautiful tracking shot and I immediately rubbed my hands together gleefully because I thought I'm going to like this. I'm really going to dig some of this camera work if this is what we're starting with. And I did. The whole film, scene after scene after scene, is beautifully shot. I, I couldn't give you any further praise or, you know, recommendations where you could have improved. Stella. It's acted beautifully as well. The Keith Stanfield, I, a lot of people really like him. And I mean, they really like him. They think he is the, ne the second coming or, you know. I am still a little bit withheld. I think that some of his performances can be a little bit samey. It's a very good performance that he gives, again, and I, I, that's not knocking any performance he has given. I still see Lakeith Stanfield, though. That's, that's sort of what my criticism is of Lakeith Stanfield as an actor. He's incredibly good. I'm really not knocking him by any means. I think he is a real talent. I just think he has some ways to go yet. I don't think he's the finished article by any means. It's a pleasure to watch him grow and learn and be better with each one. He hasn't let himself down. He isn't bad. He's always been good. I just think sometimes from role to role, it's quite samey. And Daniel Kaluuya as Fred Hampton, this was a real step out of left field for him. Most people will know him as the guy from Get Out or from Black Panther. He's really good here. He's great. It's really, like I say, it's really different for him. He does speak with a sort of southern drawl. It's a bit jive, I would say. It was Judas. I speak jive. Oh, good. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. All right. Would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? Just hang loose, blood. She's going to catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama. My mama raised no dummies. I duck a rap. Don't always understand what he's saying, but you can follow it enough. You understand. It's not like you're completely lost. You you might just miss a word here or there. And that's, again, that's nothing actually against uh, Daniel Kaluuya, because if you look up footage of Fred Hampton speaking, it's what he sounded like. It's just accurate. I thought the film told a really honest story. I never felt like they were trying to villainize anyone and glorify another or anything like that. 
everyone's actions were fairly explained, understandable, and they're people. That's how I would describe it. They're actually seen as people. They're recognised as people. They say one thing, they mean another. They tell you to be violent and aggressive and you know brutal towards the police. And then actually when you go to do that, they might tell you off because that's not what the message they want to be telling people. It's, you know, paints the panthers in a bad light. But two days ago, you were literally saying, screw the pigs, kill them, you know? If that's how it went down, I appreciate the honesty that they did that. They didn't just make him out to quite literally be a black messiah. They recognised that he was a young man, and, you know, young men can be naive. They can be stupid. They can think they know everything, and maybe they don't. You also don't really feel that way about Lakeith Stanfield's character. You're not looking at him and thinking, boo, hiss, boo, hiss. You're just sort of struggling along with him, if that makes sense. You don't really know what you would do in that situation yourself. So you'd feel cruel to judge him for what he, whatever he decides in the moment, because you really don't know what you would do in that given situation until you're in that given situation. Jesse Plemons as well plays... He's sort of the man underneath Hoover. Uh, he mostly deals with the rats uh, that he's that have been installed into the Panther movement. He's very good. Again, he's a, he's a little bit similar to Lakeith in this way, that most of his performances feel quite samey. They're all really good performances, but they don't really vary that much. They're all kind of the weird guy, the oddball, the guy who's a bit unsettling. That's generally who he plays, and it's still sort of here. But again, he's great. He is a good actor. I do like him. The ending is gut-punching. That's all I want to say about it. It really sits you to attention and just leaves you in this moment of reflection to think that this actually wasn't that long ago and it really happened. And then you think about racism today and how rife it is and how it's all over the papers it's, you, you know you think and you're just like it, it really hasn't changed it's just the tools and equipment around it have changed it's certainly a fascinating story it's it's bizarre to believe it really happened i'm glad it was told though i think more people do need to know this story it's a valuable story it's a valuable lesson as well for just everyone to take on board Regardless of who you are, regardless of colour or creed, I think there is a very important message in this movie. Message! I also think the title is perfect. It sums up the film almost flawlessly. It is about Judas and the Black Messiah. And you could even throw in Pontius Pilate with the J. Edgar Hoover character. It's very clever to sort of see that biblical reference and pull it to this. and. I don't fault it at all. I think it's genius move. It makes a lot of sense. It's very relatable. The story beats are almost similar at times. Yeah, I think this is a really clever film. Really smart, nicely done, filmed well. If I had any complaints, it's a little bit baggy in the middle. There's some downtime where it just sort of mellows out for a little bit too long, if you ask me. It didn't need to go on for that long. Apart from that, though... Yeah, I don't really have any faults with this movie. I'm going to give Judas and the Black Messiah a 10 out of 10. Like I say, filmed well, written well, acted well, decent story. What's not to love? Thanks for watching this review. If you could like, comment and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.